Hi, this is LJ at City Beat Live on the red carpet for Prime TV Network. I'm here standing with, Dove can you pl Mayer. please tell the audience your name? Yeah. Dove Mayer. Dove Mayer, great. And can you tell them uh, your director, producer for I'm what film lead, it's on? I'm the lead actor for the film Faded Night. Okay, great. Uh, the director missed up his, fl his flight, so he's going to be here tonight after the, after the gala. Um, but the Faded Night is a short film, an epic film. Um, I was actually one of the founding members of this film festival. Excellent. Um, I stepped down two years ago to pursue my acting career, and I'm so happy to be back as an actor. That is incredible. Welcome, and thank you for being here. Can you uh, tell us a little bit more, maybe, about your some of your experiences starting the festival, being a founder? Absolutely. This festival has been incredible from the start. Uh, of course, a lot of obstacles putting a festival together on an island, but every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and easier and easier to handle. We have an incredible crew. I had an incredible crew to work with. And I'm just so happy to come back and see my old family and be here in a different position and be able to enjoy it all instead of running around behind the scenes. Yeah, it's amazing. We were growing exponentially every year. That's incredible. Thank you for being here. And last question, uh, when do we get to see your film? Uh, the film is Faded Night. It's screening Saturday morning in the Shorts Block at 9 a.m. in the opening. Saturday, Saturday morning, 9 a.m. We're going to be there. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. You got it. LJ Rivera at City Beat Live on the red carpet. And now I'm here with Lee Whitaker. Lee Whitaker. Yeah. And what film are you with, Lee? Uh, Catching Fireflies. Catching Fireflies. Can you tell us a little bit more about your film? And when does it screen tonight? It, actually, it screens tomorrow at 1 p.m. here. Uh, and it's about a little girl growing up on the streets of Los Angeles, Skid Row, with her heroin addict mother and how she deals with that, the rigors of that day to day through her whimsical imagination. Excellent. Great. Great. Uh, one more thing real quick, because I know you don't have much time and we're getting backed up here with people. But uh, tell us something, your, your most favorite uh, time doing the, 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 uh, shooting the film? Sorry. It was probably working with the young actress, Gianna. Uh, she was a magnificent talent. She was like a sponge, ready to go anywhere and do anything emotionally and really cross the barriers uh, within herself as an actress, being eight years old. Oh, excellent, excellent. And lastly, one of the biggest challenges of the film? Uh, probably working with a young female and having only six hours sure. a day to shoot. So, yeah, oh, that would wow. be, yeah. Yes. yeah. All the SAG restrictions and so on. Oh, yeah, okay, well, great. Well, thank you. I hope to see your film tomorrow and enjoy the evening tonight. Thank, thank you. Thank you, LJ. Thank, thank you, so you. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, can you tell our audience at Prime TV and City Beat Live what your name is? And My name is Bruce Belland, and I... Uh, Wrote a little song 60 years ago called 26 Miles Across the Sea. And uh, they're recognizing me for that tonight, and I'm thrilled to death. I'm so pleased to be here. That is incredible. I was, I was told you were here. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize that, that you were coming down the, the, the line yet so Took fast. Took me 60 years to do it, but here I am. <laughs> hey, 26 Miles Across the Sea, Santa Catalina Islands waiting for me. Hey, I think everybody knows that song. That's well, great. It's been good to me, and uh, the island's been good to me, and I, I love this little patch of paradise out here in the Pacific. I really do. So this is a real thrill for me. That's wonderful. Thank you, and congratulations on your award tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. LJ Rivera with City Beat Live on the Prime TV Network, and I'm here with this, one of the stars of the show tonight. Uh, would you tell us your name and uh, what your position is in the show? My name is Alec Ramey, and I play Hasid in Left Behind. Ah, so I didn't see you on the poster. Does that mean you're not one of the heroes? Oh, um, I think it's more of a secret. Oh, it's a secret. Okay, well, we'll find out soon, won't we? You definitely will, <laughs> in about 20 minutes. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you for being here so much. Can you tell us something uh, most exciting about uh, filming the show with Nicolas Cage and everybody? You know what? Uh, usually you want to go to work and you want to leave work. Going to work, you wanted to stay doing this movie. It was a pleasure. Everyone was so talented. It was just fun to go to work every day. You didn't want to leave. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, the producer said he it was like a big family. We spoke it to him earlier. Wonderful. I'm just so glad to be back with these people. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward. We're so excited to see the film. Thank you for being here with us Thank and you. have a great night. All right, wonderful. I'm glad I didn't I didn't <laughs> wear that jacket tonight because oh, it gonna looks better words? on you. Yeah, oh, it looks great. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. brother. Take care. Hi, this is LJ Rivera from City Beat Live on the Prime TV Network, and I'm here with the beautiful, lovely Sandra Luce. Sandra Luce. And what's your movie or my movie's premiering tomorrow. It's called Tice, and it's at 3 p.m., and it's been nominated by Chris, Wa uh, Chris Wes Craven. <laughs> oh, Wes Craven. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, wow, so, so you, good. such a beautiful young lady, did a, a horror film? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> a very pregnant young lady. I'm about oh. eight months pregnant in that movie. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you're not eight <laughs> months pregnant now. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. A year ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good. Yes, awesome. Yeah. Incredible. 
So tell us, uh, gosh, well, what's the most trying part of the, making the film besides being pregnant? <laughs> well, I think that was most trying because not only you know am I trying to escape from uh, the con artist that's on the loose, but also I'm eight months pregnant, so you know I can't give too much away. It's only right. a short. Okay. True. <laughs> so you're writer, director, actress, also. Actress. Okay. Yes. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Tell us uh, the most fun you had on the film. You know what? Shooting for 10 hours through the night in Topanga Canyon. It's such an airy place to shoot. So it really gave us that creepy feel shooting a horror movie. And of course, the cast and crew were amazing. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for being here. Thanks, Good luck on your film tomorrow thank and so we'll much. see it. We'll go yes. by and see it. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Hi there. I'm LJ Rivera with City Beat Live and the Prime TV Network. Can you tell our audience your name and your and what film are you with? Uh, Jerry Jenkins, and I'm the uh, author of Left Behind, which was made into a movie. Excellent. He's tonight's author for Left Behind that made, was made into a movie. Great. Uh, can you tell us some of your uh, fondest memories of the, uh, of the writing process? Well, you know, the, the book was actually written uh, almost 20 years ago, and um, so it was great fun. The, the idea for it was Dr. Tim LaHaye's, but I got the fun part to, to write the novel. And uh, when we heard that uh, Nick Cage was going to star in the movie, we were just thrilled. I got to spend a, a day on the set and meet Nick Cage and watch him do his thing. And it was, it's just been a thrill to see it come to life. That's incredible. That's incredible. And uh, can you tell us something maybe about a new project coming up or something you're working on? I'm actually working on a, a novel that's based on the life of St. Paul. And uh, I don't know if that'll become a movie, but it's been a great project. And it takes a lot of research to research the biblical uh, times. But uh, that's been a fun one, too. I'm sure it is. I'm sure that'll be fun, exactly. It sounds like an exciting thing. I would watch it. Definitely. I definitely would read the book, so we'll see. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for being here, and congratulations tonight. Thanks so much. Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, this is LJ Rivera with City Beat Live and the Prime TV Network. I'm here with the beautiful and lovely actress of tonight's uh, premiere, and could you tell us your name and yes. your position in the film? Yes, I'm Cassie Thompson, and I play Chloe Steele. Chloe Steele. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Very cool name. Yeah, it's a good name. It's a good name. That's a gorgeous dress. Thank wow. You, you look much. fabulous. Thanks. Uh, can you tell us uh, something, you know, exciting about the film? You know, something that you, um, uh, a little secret, a little tidbit maybe? Yeah, I can tell. It's, it's very action packed, full of stunts, and I did do almost all of my own stunts. Excellent. So I did, I free climbed a 400 foot bridge. Wow. And I was harnessed in at the top, but I did free climb it. So that's. For you. That's right. The producer, <laughs> the, the producer we interviewed him already yeah, earlier, he told me, you know, watch out for Cassie in this. This is incredible. <laughs> so I, I knew there was something you did yes, that was yes, just that. over the top. So yep. excellent. What was some of your fondest memories of the film? Um, I think working with Nick Cage and my co-star here, Nick Whelan, I mean, everybody was so professional and so wonderful. And our director is now a really good friend of mine. And excellent. I, yeah, I have lifelong friends from the film. So that was really a treat. Wonderful. And if you could be any superhero, who would who would that be? Oh gosh, who would I be? Nice curveball, huh? <laughs> Maybe like Superwoman? I don't know. Huh? Or Spider-Man? Spider but Spider-Woman? Spider-Girl? Spider Spider-Girl or Bad Girl? Anything. <laughs> I'm so bad, the worst. That's so okay. <laughs> Throwing you a curveball. Yeah, you, you look great. Anyway, and again, thank you for your time. You. What's uh, next on the horizon? Uh, I just did another movie with the director of Left Behind, Vic Armstrong. It's called The Sunday Horse, starring Nikki Reed and Ryan Merriman. And I, I'm not really a star in it, but I did. Uh, it shows you kind of the inside world of English show jumping. So it's a very cool little family. Very cool. When is that uh, due to come out? Uh, well, we just we just ended filming it like two months ago, so probably another year or so. That's in post for you. Okay, yep, great. In post now. Well, great. Congratulations tonight. Thank Congratulations you. on the premiere. Thank you. Can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for your you. time. Yes, Bye-bye. You Take care. Uh, sorry, I'm Michael Walker, and I'm the producer on Left Behind. Great. Congratulations tonight on the uh, premiere. It's exciting for us, and we're thrilled to be here in Catalina. It's a beautiful part of the world, and uh, I think the uh, the audience is in for a great night. Excellent. I know I, know I personally can't wait. It's going to be very exciting. Can you tell us something, uh, some little tidbit on the, on the set that you... Uh, I think the, uh, we had a great cast on our set. We had so much fun and, uh, you know, the, everyone got along well and uh, it was just a wonderful experience to, to be part of. So uh, Cassie Thompson is going to blow people away. She's just tremendous and uh, Nick Cage is just awesome. So it's, 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 it's going to be a great night. That's great. Wonderful. Uh, what's uh, new on the horizon after this? Well, if all things go according to plan, you'll see at the end of the movie there's a bit of a cliffhanger. So... Be prepared, there's a, there's a sequel coming.
Well, wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing your time and congratulations again tonight. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye now. Hi, this is LJ Rivera with City Beat Live on the red carpet. And I'm here with the actor and very talented. Hi, LJ. This is Randy LaHaye. Uh, actually, co-producer oh, on co the film. I'm yeah, co-producer on the film Left Behind. No problem. Yeah, it's uh, it's a wonderful movie based on the Left Behind uh, books, uh, and it's just fabulous. And we're so excited to be premiering it here. Excellent. Thank you. And we're we're honored to have you here on the red carpet with us. Thank you. Uh, we heard it's a wonderful film. Everybody that's come through has said it was such a family feel working with you and the director and everybody. Uh, can you tell us something, a little insight about the film, on your perspective? Yeah, I can. It's uh, very closely based on the New York Times bestseller, Left Behind Book, and it was made for the fans of that book series. And I know that all the fans of the books are really going to love this movie, and this movie is going to serve as the beginning of an entire film franchise based on that book series. And so I just want to thank the incredible cast with Jordan Sparks and Cassie Thompson and of course Nick Cage and of course the Catalina Film Festival. I couldn't think of a better place to present the movie. So thank you. Wow, that's excellent. Well, thank you for being here. Again, thank you for all your time. The, the writer came through earlier and he's excited to be here. He's so excited that you guys made a movie out of his, his novel. And Yeah, so Jerry's a fantastic guy and I'm so glad that he could be here. And uh, I got to tell you also, I really like your jacket. I just keep wanting to touch it. <laughs> it just blends in with the carpet. It's well, incredible. Thank you. <laughs> I figured red carpet, red jacket, right? Absolutely. I like your style. Thank you very much. Right. I appreciate your time. Have a good, have, good luck tonight. I can't thank wait to you see very it. Much. Thank, you. thank you. This is LJ Rivera for City Beat Live on the Prime TV Network. And I'm here with the lovely, talented, beautiful actress in a beautiful gown. Can you tell thank us your you. name? My name is Georgina Rawlings. Great, Miss Rawlings. And can you tell us your position in the movie tonight? Absolutely. I play one of your supporting actresses. I play Venice Baxter. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, exciting. And something exciting uh, that, uh, you know, was fun during the production? Oh, my gosh. The whole production was fun. It was Every, amazing. You guys rehearsed this. Everybody's saying the same thing. <laughs> it was. It was the most amazing film to work on. We were a, a really tight-knit unit, so we became a very close family working on it, and it was quite an emotional production, which made it really, really memorable for me. Excellent. You guys were in Baton, Baton Rouge, right? Is we that were, yeah. Baton Rouge for uh, four weeks in the peak summer in the humidity. Oh, my, a little hot probably, huh? A little hot. A little hot. So what was, the, what was the worst thing that happened during the production? Oh, well, on set, nothing. Bug nothing. bites. Oh, bug, <laughs> bug bites. Yeah. yeah, they love me. They love the, the English blood, I think. It's the sweet English blood. I think that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> Well, I love your gown. Again, Thank beautiful you. and matches your gorgeous, striking eyes. Oh, wow. such a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your time thank and you. enjoy the show tonight. We're excited to see it. Thanks for being here on the red carpet with us. And thank you. thanks for uh, talking to us at City Beat Live. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. Thank oh, good you. Night. Good luck thanks. to you. My name's, my name's LJ Rivera with City Beat Live, and we'd like you to tell the audience, our audience, your name. Yeah, uh, my name is Carlos Polo, and, my, and the film that I directed was Trato Preferente in Spanish, uh, Preferential Treatment in English. That's right. Perfect. We met earlier today, that's right. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about the best thing that you did with the film or the most exciting time you had making the film? Uh, it was quite exciting to break a plate in a, into a head of a, an actor. Oh, yes. <laughs> a real plate. It was real a, plate. Real, a real plate. A real plate broken yeah. into the side, the head of an actor. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, they, so you had your they, insurance covered and everything. It's their job, you know. <laughs> their job. The, the blood is real. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> now I'm scared. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, it's kidding. So, is your film screen, screening tomorrow? Or? Yeah, maybe tomorrow 3 p.m., I, I guess. 3 p.m., great. And I, and I detect an accent, just a slight one. Uh, wh where are you from? Spain. I'm from Madrid. We're Madrid, Spain. Madrid, yeah. Oh, great. And your lovely guest, can you tell us your name? Uh, please, say your name. I am Laura Alonso. She's my Ex wife, my almost always supporting wife. And she's Excellent. So you both produced the film, right? Uh, yeah. The support of the yeah, partner. Exactly. Definitely. Definitely. So the, yeah, but we're very happy to be here, and it's a great opportunity to show the, the film in a place like this. And for us, it's, we come from, to, from Spain just to be here. So. That is excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for your time on the carpet. Have a thank good night. You. Thank you very much. And good luck on your film tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, just one question because they're, they're, they're shutting us down here. There's sirens. I know. Okay. Tell, us tell us why you're here and, and what show you're with. 
Hi, I'm Michelle Boyd. I am with the film Bar America, which is one of the feature films here at Catalina Film Festival. Uh, it's premiering tonight for the very first time at 8 o'clock. I'm really excited and a little scared and happy to be here. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate it. It's going to be a great screening. We can't wait to see it. And uh, who's some of your co-stars? Chris... Uh, Chris Candy is my co-star, uh, John Candy's son, Dustin Ingram, uh, the director, Matthew Jacobs. Uh, Morgan Walsh could not be here tonight, unfortunately, because she's filming. How dare she? Right? But I, had, I was so lucky to work with all of them. They're all incredibly, incredibly talented. So I don't know why they picked me. Oh, you're great talent yourself, and you're gorgeous. Gosh, stunning. Well, welcome to the Catalina Film Festival. Thank you for being here on City Beat Live with the Prime TV Network. And uh, do you want to say anything else to anybody? Hi! <laughs> no, I got nothing. No. <laughs> How about a shout out to City Beat Live? So I was talking about, where am I saying? City Beat Live. Hey, City Beat Live, thanks for having us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I appreciate like, it. We're at the Catalina Film Festival and uh, with uh, Chris Candy. Your movie's premiering tomorrow night at the festival? Exactly. We're going off tonight, it's Thursday tonight. night. The film's coming on uh, 8 o'clock tonight, which is going to be great. Uh, it's a film called Bar America. It takes right. place up in San Francisco, uh, you know, and it's an uh, improv-based film. Um, and so, uh, you know, it was a very interesting project to kind of get into, you know, uh, right. and we had a lot of fun working on it. And it's great to be out here in Catalina, you know, what can I say? Yeah, right, it's beautiful out here. We spoke uh, briefly earlier to Michelle Boyd, yeah, one of your co-stars. Yeah. So uh, how was it working with her and so on? Oh, Michelle's great, man. We had a lot of fun up there. Uh, you know, her and I, uh, you know, kind of have a little bit of a relationship in the film, and so it was kind of nice to, you know, work with her on that. And the whole film is based around, um, you know, these two guys who have a very successful internet TV show, um, and they're just, it's a, it's a story about friendship and a bunch of different relationships and how they can kind of all get intermingled. And my character, you know, Charlie plays this, uh, you know, uh, military, you know, post-military, uh, you know, war vet, and uh, he's back reacclimating to life in San Francisco and he's got this this show that he puts together and then his uh, best friend Hank is they he's the host of the show and they're you know kind of um, you know just kind of fumbling through it and they happen to be you know you know up to being getting taken advantage of by the you know these uh, people Matthew Jacobs who plays you know uh, another character in the film along with his uh, Morgan Walsh who she happens to be in the film uh, and they basically you know uh, very interesting. You got to check it out. You gotta, yeah, it you know. sounds. No, we're definitely going to go check it out right after this interview uh, in, a, in an hour eight or so. Yeah, yeah, eight, eight o'clock it starts. That's great. Uh, what else is on the horizon for you? Anything new and exciting besides this? I mean, that sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see it. But what else is going on? Anything? Um, we've got my hands filled with a bunch of projects, but I've uh, been putting out this uh, web show recently called Where's This Party about these two Hollywood lowlifes bumping around town trying to sell a bad script. Feels nice. a lot like right here. Like and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it feels like reality. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, and so, uh, so I've been doing that. That's a YouTube show that I've been doing, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then I've got that on the horizon. I, you know, keeping up with a radio show and playing music back in Los Angeles, and uh, you know, just you know, doing the hustle out in LA. So uh, it's been good, though. So yeah. that sounds awesome. We got to check it out, definitely. Oh, and we're always looking for new content on Prime TV uh, Network. So oh yeah, absolutely. You know? <laughs> hey, this is a real hit. Let me tell you. There you go. <laughs> sounds great. It <laughs> sounds like a lot of fun. Well, I'm sure you get a lot, but you resemble your dad so much I'm oh, sorry so I was like, no no you your, know your what face, you said it it happens up. a thousand times right. it's happened to me for my priest come on what right. are you talking about it's happened <laughs> to my entire life don't worry about it it's fine uh, yeah no definitely you know pops you know 20 years you know awesome, we're here man. yeah remembering him you know so That's true yeah definitely. well again thank you for your time and thanks for being here and it was an awesome interview thank you oh absolutely thank you and LJ Rivera here with City Beat live on the Prime TV network and here we're we're here on the red carpet for Catalina Island, and we're here with the director of tonight's uh, world premiere. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. That's great. Can you tell us your name and why here on Catalina Island? My name is Vic Armstrong, and we decided on Catalina because I think it was, it's a special place, and I think this movie is a very special movie. And I think this whole cinema complex, you know, the first cinema with sound in the world and things like that, uh, and I think this is really a special movie, and it's it's just so iconic. And I think this is such an iconic island. I I love it. I'm, I come from England, so maybe I like islands. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Great. It's, well, it's gorgeous, and thank you for being here, and thank you for spending time with us. How was it uh, directing your daughter on in the film? It was wonderful, actually. I've been directing her for a long time, actually. She was a little girl in uh, Young Indiana Jones I shot in Czechoslovakia. Oh, yeah. And then she was a young actress in Black Beauty, a movie I did in England about a horse. That's right. And she's horse-based. She's a show jumper, international show jumper. 
and I've just finished it, directing her in another movie called A Sunday Horse with William Shatner. She plays William, William Shatner's trophy wife. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That's incredible. I can't wait to see that. When does that come out? Uh, we're not sure yet. Probably in the spring next year. We've just finished shooting, but she's oh, got a huge she, part in She it. didn't give us the name, but she said she just wrapped. Yeah. Uh, okay, great, yeah, yeah, great, yeah. great. Uh, that's exciting. Where was that shot? In England? or No, we shot that in Atlanta, Georgia at uh, the Olympic Horse Park there because it's all about Olympic show jumping. So uh, we went there for that. Well, excellent. That sounds great. So what's next? Anything uh, exciting coming up? The John, uh, the John Ford Foundation have asked me to direct a, a lovely script called Comanche Stallion, which is going to be John Ford's last movie before he died. And as horses are my background, that would be my ideal movie to direct. And we hope to shoot it in Monument Valley next year. Well, that's exciting. That's great. That's wonderful. You're the first people to hear that, actually. <laughs> well, thank you. That's a that's a City Be Live exclusive. I pre appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> thank so, you. And where 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 where, where, where are you going to shoot that? You said up in Monument Valley, where he shot Stagecoach and the Comancheros and the right. Searchers and all those great movies. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. That is wonderful, spectacular. Well, thank you so much for your time. My if, pleasure. Uh, that's wonderful. Congratulations on the premiere tonight. And we're so glad to be here. I can't wait to see it. We're going to get inside. I think we're wrapping up. So thank you again. And thanks for being on uh, City Beat Live. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Film Fest, It's LA Film Fest, My Media Muse, 